Thank you everyone for joining us today. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about credit cards, banking, and processing payments online for cannabis businesses. As you may know, this has been a challenging subject and it remains a challenging subject, but it's very exciting to be at this point where we can all talk about actual solutions for accepting credit cards. Um, and one of the major perks of this is that we can increase revenues by having people spend more. I know I personally am limited by spending cash when I go to a dispensary and I know I would spend more if I could just swipe my card. And it's probably a benefit to me as the consumer actually that I'm not able to spend my credit card because I know I would spend a whole lot more. Um, and so, you know, as part of the CREC directory, we bring in partners to help you with the different other issues and solutions that you're going to need along the way. Um, we deal with cannabis real estate licensing, compliance support, mapping, and we have a CREC network that we bring together all the specialists that we think are really doing good work in the industry. Um, and so Livia Caudell, CEO of Integrity Payment Processing has joined us today. She's done the research, she's compiled her solutions, and she has some really great options to show. And so I'm going to start by turning it over to her. Livia, thank you for joining us. Awesome for having me. It's such a delight to be here with your folks and just be a part of this webinar. So thank you, Roger, for setting this up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a screen share because I created a presentation to go over, you know, the different solutions uh, that my company has. So yes, my name is Livia Caudell. I'm the CEO and founder of Integrity Payment Processing. Let me press play on this. Okay, and my computer is a little slow today, guys, so I apologize. <laughs> Integrity Payment Processing, you see my website below. Um, we have raving fans, so I definitely invite you to go to our website and take a look at our reviews. We've got quite a few on Facebook and um, towards the bottom of the page, we've got a lot of testimonials. So obviously, we, we take care of our clients. We treat them more like family and friends than we do just, you know, a number in traditional business. So we really um, pride ourselves in that. Um, so obviously we're here to talk about cannabis credit card, debit card payment solutions. And, you know, the problem, you know, we've found is it's really tough to find compliant credit card and debit card solutions in the cannabis industry. And so the solution is I've done the vetting for you and have four compliant solutions. So you have pretty much all of the top options uh, that are out today in, in today's market. And just like Roger said, by accepting credit cards, the data shows you will increase your revenues by a minimum of 21% as credit cards are the number one payment method chosen by consumers. Um, and once we set up a free consultation, if you'd like to do so after this webinar, we'll go over the compliance piece for each one of the solutions or solution that you choose. So we could definitely get you hooked up with one solution, even two, if you want to have, you know, a backup or a secondary option. Um, we've really created my company. I've created it to have you know, do the vetting, have as many solutions um, as possible for my merchants, because truly with my company, I have my clients back, not the merchant provider. So I go to bat for you as the merchant, make sure you get the best deal, you get the best rates and everything is integrity, you know, transparent, you know, the pricing, no hidden fees, you know, you know, figuring things out in the small print, Everything is very transparent and upfront, um, you know, under my watch. So that's how I've gained loyalty with the customers that I do have. And I found that this to be, this was a very valuable um, service to add to this industry because there's a lot of scrupulous, you know, bait and switch tactics, those kinds of things. And I'm really committed um, to, you know, live it into my number one value, which is integrity and make sure that my customers are, you know, 100% clear about the rates and everything is at the highest level of integrity. So again, well, yeah. just- um, yeah, yeah. I mean, We're gonna go into these solutions, but you know, I think that your business brings more to the table than just offering a couple of solutions. 
Oh yeah. A little bit more about how people can work with you and, and what integrity you know is supporting with. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dive into solution one. And yeah, Roger, just you know, feel free to chime in anytime if you want to deepen the conversation. Um, the solution number one, this is actually my preference and, and my favorite. Um, the rates are fantastic. And I just, the ease of use is, is really great with the customer, which I'll demonstrate here in a moment. So how the solution works, it's a tokenized solution. So what, you're, what, you're, what your customers are doing is using a credit card or debit card, either in store or online. And as soon as that money is pulled off that card, it immediately converts to USDC, which is a stable coin. Yes, it's a cryptocurrency, but there's a distinction. And I want to share this because I don't want you thinking, you know, this is, you know, volatile because it's not. So Bitcoin, obviously, you know, very volatile. Ethereum, same thing. Some of these other coins that are out there. If you actually click this link, which I believe Roger is going to share this presentation with you afterward, if you click this link, it's going to take you uh, to this page. And I want to just show you real quick what this kind of talks about. So USDC is a dollar for dollar. So there's very little variance, if anything. And uh, this solution, they do same day um, conversions. So federally charted banks um, actually use this stablecoin solution for payment activities. So if you know of the cash apps like Zelle, uh, or Venmo, they use the exact same technology, just consumers and merchants don't really, it's really consumers. Consumers don't really know that that's what they're using, but they are. I had no idea that that was run through a cryptocurrency. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, they call it electronic payments now. So that's kind of the new, you know, word that we use is this is an electronic digital payment because that's essentially what it is. So let me dive back into uh, the presentation so I can kind of expound upon this. And I'm going to take drinks of water here and there because typically I get a dry mouth. I'm in Vegas, the desert. Yeah, and Olivia, I could assume that, you know, talking about cryptocurrency is an uncomfortable situation because people yeah. are still getting used to it. You know, they, they look at the 10%, 20% daily swings. Could you dive a little bit more into what a stable coin is for us that aren't aware? Yeah, well, stable coin is, you know, obviously used, like I said, with federally traded banks. So stable coin is a dollar for dollar. And so there's no variance. There's no wild swings up, wild swings down, you know, and I encourage you, if you're interested in the solution to just Google USDC and stable coin, um, you'll see that participating federally traded banks are using this. Um, it's definitely not something to be afraid of. However, in honesty and transparency, I've had some, you know, dispensaries come and tell me, hey, this solution, although it looks great, we just don't want, you know, anything cryptocurrency related, which is totally fine. I mean, I'm here to create the best solution for you as the merchant. And that's, you know, how my business has thrived because it's not about, you know, who I'm representing on the merchant processing side. It's about my client and their needs. Um, so with that, I would like to kind of jump into some of the benefits. So you can you, you can take, there's a terminal, and I'm gonna show you that in a minute. You can do in-store uh, purchases, sliding a credit card, very traditional way of taking payments. And they also have an API that can plug in to your website. As long as you're on WordPress and have WooCommerce checkout, we can integrate online. So right now we're boarding a lot of Kratom deals as one of the largest uh, processor for Kratom got shut down. So we're getting a lot of Kratom deals, nutraceutical, we can do CBD, Delta 8, um, pretty much anything that's legal. And obviously within the city and state, you know, legal parameters. Um, so it's, you know, going to be a case by case situation for every client. Uh, right now they accept a Visa, MasterCard and Discover. Amex is on its way. They're a little tough, <laughs> apparently, is what I heard, but we're looking to have them on board by the end of the year. To me, that's exciting to be able to work with WooCommerce. That is such a widely adopted platform. Yeah. Um, when I first got into the industry about seven years ago, when I built a dispensary's website and we wanted to move away from weed maps, 
We built it all throughout WooCommerce, hoping that one day, finally, we would be able to connect to a payment gateway. Um, yeah. Because the larger platforms like Stripe uh, are no uh, not available for cannabis. Totally. Yeah, 100%. I'm with you on that. Um, and they are also integrated into Blaze. And I believe another one that's coming on board, but um, I can't let it let the secret out yet, but it's going to be it's going to be great. They're they're working with a lot of these other, um, you know, companies that do compliance or whatever, you know, their their app does. Um, but anyways, we're all about making it work and making it happen. So um, onto the list here, 72 hour funding. So basically from the moment you swipe the transaction for the customer, you'll receive that funding 72 hours later. Okay. And some days if there's, in some cases, if there's like a holiday or something, you know, obviously that wouldn't count as, you know, 24 hours, right? So it's business days. Uh, what I really love about this is the merchant account has no reserve. So I'm pretty sure everybody on this call and webinar understands what a reserve is. And to have no reserve is pretty awesome. That means you're getting 100% of your profits minus the merchant fees, which you can't beat that. That's always a great thing. Uh, this is the terminal. Very, very sleek, modern looking. On the other side of it is another screen for the customer. Uh, very sleek, very modern. I like this a lot. It is Wi-Fi, um, Wi-Fi only right now. There is a SIM chip technology that is that is in development that's coming on board. But in the meantime, as long as your dispensary and or if you're doing delivery and the car has a hotspot, you can use this uh, obviously with Wi-Fi. So here's all the SIM chip. You mean as like a cell phone service? Yeah. So basically, you put the SIM chip in, and, and then that's its own internet. It sounds like a, you know, a lot of these features are pretty standard for other payment processing systems. Yeah, yeah. And there's also a scanner on the machine because obviously, you know, taking IDs uh, for regulation and compliance is, is a part of it. Um, so it is, you know, driver's license ID. It will be scanned during the, the checkout process, which I'll go over here. So I think we've covered most. If you have any questions about anything on here, just let me know. But right now I'd like to just hop into the retail transaction flow. So if you're a retail you know, store, customer walks in, they whip out their MasterCard, Discover, Visa. You'll see right there the, the terminal. There is a sliding mechanism. I believe it's at the top. And there will be a you know time for you to swipe the card. Then you'll hand it to the 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 customer which i have a video that basically gives you a demonstration of this checkout process and i also have one for the e-commerce so roger i'll provide those links for you and you can send them off to to everyone here if they're interested in seeing that but basically once the card is you know swiped it will come to the next process where the usd immediately in nanoseconds converts to a stable coin um, during this process, the customer is going to be giving us their cell phone number so we can do a SMS text verification. This not only, you know, really helps, you know, to, to make sure that your clients are of age, but it really hard, uh, helps with keeping chargebacks low. So what's great about this is that since it's being converted to stablecoin, the MCC code is financial currency. So it's really tough to, to do a chargeback on that. Um, and that's, they're, you know, they're less than 1% of chargebacks. It's like very, very rare that this happens. And the OTP, the one-time pen, when they authorize that, you know, we've got them scanning their ID, we've got them authorizing a pen. So, and that's all there is to do, by the way. Um, but it really helps you as a merchant and if there is a chargeback, by the way, um, the payment provider is just going to do an immediate refund. They're not going to do any kind of battling. Um, they're just going to do an immediate refund, which really just kind of helps you. And, you know, you'll be notified as a merchant. So you could just call that customer and say, hey, you know, what's up with the chargeback? And then you figure out if you want to do business with that customer. So Can that's it. So that the chargebacks and how that uh, may be a negative or how that might be a problem for other merchants. I'm sorry, first part of your chargebacks. Can you talk a little bit more about maybe another solution and, you know, comparative? 
Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, listen, since this is a stable coin, uh, purchase, uh, you know what I mean? And then the purchase is happening with the stable coin. Obviously that's not going through the traditional, you know, Visa MasterCard, uh, rails, so to speak. So it's just the MCC code, uh, of the stable coin is a financial currency. So just because of that alone, it's really tough to do a chargeback. Well, and during our conversations, uh, you were saying how chargebacks was kind of common in this industry and merchants didn't Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fraud, but, you know, I mean, I talk to a lot of dispensaries every day and everybody's kind of different on that. Um, obviously, the system really works to keep chargebacks low. That's another really great, um, you know, pro for this particular solution. So once the USD is converted to USDC, it's immediately converted back to USD the same day. And then obviously it goes to the payment processor's bank, and then you will get your funds minus the processing fees deposited into your merchant banking account. So that was the retail transaction flow. Now I'm gonna go over the e-commerce. So you can see the computer screen, someone's you know, shopping, they check out when they click submit purchase, there's going to be a checkout page for them to fill out um, with a couple you know, boxes to kind of check off. I also have that video as well. So again, Roger, I'll provide you all the videos for this particular solution so people can see the, the use and feel. I, I, I don't want to take up too much time from people today. So the checkout page, it's going to have all the information they need, um, SMS, text. The customer will verify that text in a box that shows up on the checkout experience. The customer will receive two emails, one confirming the purchase of Stablecoin, and the second one will be a confirmation of the shop, shopping cart uh, confirmation of product purchase. It seems like that verification code is the only difference from a normal flow. Yeah. And listen, you know, the one time pad on the e-commerce, you know, we could potentially um, waive that on a case by case situation, depending, you know, on the merchant. But we, we would just need to kind of dive in and, and, and look deeper um, to why that would be, you know, wanted. And, and on a case by case scenario, we grant that. So. I think that people are getting more and more used to multi-factor authentication. Yeah, I mean, it really protects you as the merchant, quite frankly. I mean, there's, you know, these fraudsters out there that will, you know, kind of mess up your, you know, your potential to keep merchant accounts open. So it's really important you have these extra steps, even though customers don't like it. Sometimes they complain, but I would really just say, well, look, this really, you know, helps our business stay open so we can keep serving you as a customer. You know what I mean? Like kind of just turn it around. So um, I want to move on here because I know we've got 30 minutes and I'm probably <laughs> taking more time than normal. Uh, so this, the rates for this retail stores, we've got promotional discounts right now. It's super awesome. Low pricing. 3.99% to $2 per transaction, up to 4.5% plus $2 a transaction. So the between is going to vary on your monthly volume. So when we do our you know, consultation, we can go over your monthly volume and where you'd be priced at. Right now, they're giving away free terminals. When they run out of the terminals they have, I'm sure they're going to start charging for them again. So now is a good time to get your order uh, and so, um, e-commerce rates are there. Um, again, we can process for anything CBD, flour, vapes, uh, gummies, Delta 8, Delta 8 gummies, whatever to your heart's content, we can do. So you'll see the rates there for e-commerce, definitely a little bit higher, but it's, it's a higher risk transaction. And then at the bottom, you'll see, you know, we've got Kratom, Solution, Nutraceutical, and Pharma. Again, you know, case by case scenario, depending on your monthly volume and all of that. So I want to just go over rates. Again, there's no reserve, no setup fees, no annual fees, no application fees, no monthly fees. You literally are only being charged the rate percentage and the transaction fee. That's it. And the merchant, you as the merchant, you have 100% control over how those fees are assessed.
Meaning if you want to pass off the $2 to the customer, that's typically what we do. And that's how we have it set up. Or if you want to just divvy it up 50, 50 and 50% goes to the customer, we could totally do that. Or we can pass up all the fees to the customers, which I have merchants and clients that, um, you know, are like, well, if they want to use a card, they got to pay for it kind of thing. So you have 100% control, which is what I really love about this solution. I would still pay for it. If I had the chance to use my card, absolutely. That would not deter me. If I'm ready to spend a hundred dollars, you know, 2% yeah. on that, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, you okay. know, right now today I was boarding a merchant. They do 2.5 million, 30,000 transactions a month. And they were like, this is a no brainer. We're moving forward. Let's go, let's go, let's go get our terminals out. We're excited. Um, and yeah, I mean, their comment was that credit, the customers want to use credit cards. That's what they want to use. So um, it is, it's exciting that we have a really, I don't want to call it a workaround because that really cheapens the solution, but it is a legal um, way of processing credit cards, you know, for the products that you have. So I'm just going to keep going here. We got solution number two. So this is a text to pay solution. There's no um, terminal or card machine. Um, everything is done in an online portal that you will have access to as a merchant to take payments over the phone or in person. So I'm going to kind of show you what this looks like. So the cost, the consumer, they're just going to get a code. So if you see the code at the bottom, they're going to get a code 8433. So the merchant or the bud tender is going to take the order. They're going to, you know, press, uh, you know, submit. And the, the customer is going to get a tax, same as the other solution, the one-time pen. Again, really helps keeping chargebacks low. Um, consumers will not have to create a login, but they will have this, um, when they get their code in the app, they're also going to get a website link that's basically to their account. Um, and it loads in increments of $5, but they don't have to like load a wallet first and then pay. They just pay and it takes it out of a debit card or a credit card that they have in $5 increments. So let's say you spend 32, it will take 35 and leave $3 in your balance, which you could put towards a future purchase, or you can redeem it back. So this is the staff overview, obviously, as the merchant. You're going to uh, put in their phone number. It's going to search the database. Um, if it's a new account, obviously, you click open new account there in, in green on the left. And then that's immediately going to send them a text mm -hmm. with the one-time pen. I love uh, the simplicity of this one. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And I'll go over the pros and cons of, of this one. But yeah, it's it really is. Um, definitely quick, very fast. So once the code is put in, um, this is to the left. This is what the staff member that's taking the payment is going to see. They're going to see account found. You're going to put in the customer's first name, last name, cell phone, the balance. You can even add a tip for the bud tenders, which is great. And you're going to uh, oh, I'm sorry, to the right is open new account. So for the new account, you're going to put the name, phone number, uh, email address, credit card information, and then you could add a tip. Now, if the customer repeats and comes back and you look up their phone number, you don't even have to type in their information again. It's going to save it. It's going to say account found, which is on the left. Um, side. So it's going to pop up all of their credit card details, their name, phone number, email. And then all you got to do is just put in the amount that they're purchasing. Super great, easy peasy. And they do a, another uh, one step pin. They'll get the text. Yeah, they do the, yeah, they do the, the OTP. That's, that's pretty, you know, congruent across all of these um, platforms is the one time pen. I think that's what um, really helps them keep the chargebacks low. It seems that most companies nowadays that are doing that just across the, you know, the, across the field. Um, approved decline, obviously the message is in real time. Again, loading in $5 increments. Um, admin overview, this is what your organization will see. 
So you'll have business statements, you'll have sub accounts. So if you have multiple drivers, your drivers will only have, they'll have their own sub account. So they don't see all of the business that's being done, which is kind of cool. There's a place to send money to member requests. So manage returns and protect against fraud. And then uh, business checkbook. You can actually get a, a, a checkbook for prints, email, and a remote deposit capture. Um, this also includes a banking account. So you'll be getting a, an FDIC insured banking account where all the transactions are happening inside of that account, which is obviously linked to the merchant. Is that so a benefit is, there? Is that FDIC? In, was the other solution also FDIC or is that maybe a perk of this one? Um, well, so yeah, thank you for that. So the stable coin um, solution doesn't have a banking solution within their, their main solution. However, I have two companies that are FDIC insured banking solutions um, and Canapaid and the banking, uh, you know, partner work together. So it's actually so, more all in one. Yeah, we're going to go over the banking towards the end. I'm kind of just going through the payment solutions first and then I'll cover the, um, the banking. Cool. Okay, so the text to pay solution is really, it's not designed for e-commerce. It is designed for retail and store purchases, curbside and delivery or phone, you know, orders. So you'll have the portal and you're just going to have to key in the information, which is where some people don't feel like it's um, as efficient as they would like. Whereas, you know, with the stable coin solution, I mean, it's just a swipe of a card, obviously e-commerce, they have to type it in. Um, so we are getting some feedback that people who have used text, text to pay, um, would like to also have the stablecoin solution because the ease of use for the customers is, you know, is there. So again, each one has its own pros and cons, and we can absolutely go over them on a free consultation. And you could set up both as backup. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm, you know, I work with all of these solutions. So that's what's, again, that's what differentiates my company from a lot of companies is I never stick to one solution because I don't feel like there's a one size fits all for everybody. That's great. Yeah, I'm really committed to the, the customer, my client getting what they need. Um, and so that's what I do. I do the vetting for them. I go to work with for them. I fill out the apps and get the documents and all that fun stuff. So um, I really do enjoy, you know, doing this and, and making a difference for entrepreneurs so they can increase their revenues and make more money. So that really makes me happy. So I love, I love that. This solution also is for wholesale as well. So it's good for uh, distributors, cult, uh, cultivators, manufacturers. Um, and we can also talk about that on a deeper level on a free consultation. Um, here are the rates. So how they do it is the net effective rate for you as the merchant will be between, be between one and 3%, meaning all of the fees minus your total sales or divided by your total sales rather gives you the effective rate. But they do pass off a $3 to $3.50 uh, transaction fee. So obviously that kind of lessens your uh, effective rate, but we can also do that with the stable coin solution as well. Uh, they do have a monthly fee to keep this open and activated of $199. The wholesale account is included. Uh, the $199 per month includes the wholesale side of it, which is great. Um, and there's no equipment with this. Obviously, it's, it's all done. You know, it's a cardless transaction, contactless transaction. So there's no equipment um, or setup costs. Um, this is the compliance. So this is really a closed looped system. And the next solution I'm going to show you is kind of the same thing. Um, so meaning you're using, you're setting up as a merchant, you're getting your own FDIC insured banking solution and all the transactions are happening within that bank. So it's kind of a closed loop solution. So if you want more clarity on that, again, we can, we can have some chats face to face and you know, do one-on-ones and, and dive deeper. Um, but obviously closed loop systems, you know, are really work, um, really, really work. So the third solution, this is pay with an app. So the customer would pay with an app. 
They would have to download the app. It's very similar to a Venmo or PayPal, but it's specifically for the cannabis industry. Um, and, you know, obviously it's a contactless mobile payment platform for the cannabis industry. So consumers can use the app to send guaranteed payments directly into your merchant account as the merchant. Um, consumers can quickly deposit funds into their banking, which just like PayPal and Venmo, it's pretty easy to just add cards. Um, they can use credit cards, debit cards, you know, if they want to use ACH, wires, checks, I mean, they'll take whatever kind of payment really, which is kind of cool. Um, and this obviously just reduces the amount of cash, you know, being used and um, being able to accept credit cards again to increase your revenues. This also um, works with in-store purchases, curbside and delivery. It would be your all payments received method because it takes cash as well. Yeah. Yeah, so I would, I would imagine they probably have the cash um, picked up or deposited somewhere, which, you know, I can dive deeper into that, you know, on, on consultation calls. Um, <clears throat> when the customer, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, when the customer downloads the app, um, they're basically opening up their own account with Herring Bank. Um, and that's who's, you know, receiving the funds and doing the transactions with. So this is really a guaranteed electronic payment. Again, similar, all of them are really guaranteed electronic payments. Um, the app based payment system uses 128 and my box is blocking me from seeing the rest of the words. I apologize. 128, what does that say? Bits, Roger? Yeah, 128 bit transaction encryption. Transaction encryption during the purchase of authorization. I'm not a geek uh, and no tax. So I will never admit that I know what this means. Um, but for those of you that do are tech in the tech world, you may know what that means. Um, QR code, at the end of the day, that's what the customer is using. They're loading their cards into the app, and then they're showing a QR code for their purchases, which is kind of, you know, a new, um, different, but also a closed loop uh, system payment uh, method. Their bank is a technology bank, and they've had a lot of experience working with cash intensive businesses, obviously in the cannabis industry, and each merchant so you as a business owner, if you were to want to set this up, you'll get your own FDIC insured uh, commercial bank account. Um, you know, in terms of the cost, this solution is pretty straightforward in, in terms of uh, cost structure. So the more you uh, process in volume, the less rate you pay. So they're all about um, incentivizing merchants to use their system more to get a better deal. They have 24 seven customer support, which I think is awesome. Um, I mean, obviously the first uh, and second solution, they're all like really on top of support. And, and I think it's because obviously this industry, there's been some struggles. And I think these companies are really committed to making sure that there's customer support across the board. So I would say by far, like all three have great customer service um, in my experience with use, you know, obviously setting up my merchants with them. So getting down to the rates, this particular solution is 4.99%, no transaction fee. Um, and it could actually decrease depending on how many locations you have and what your monthly sales volume is. The banking account uh, with Harrington Bank, Herring Bank, excuse me, is $750 a month. However, once you hit 50,000 or more in sales, your banking account is free. So that's pretty great. I think most people in the cannabis industry that, that have a dispensary, they're, they're right in there. Um, this is obviously not e-commerce. This is only you know in store curbside delivery. So again, the first solution, Stablecoin, that's the only one of these three that does e-commerce, which I think is really cool to be able to, to obviously have other products if you want outside of uh, cannabis. You could add Kratom, you know, or Delta 8, whatever. Um, it gives you the option to do that, which is, which is great. 
Um, the fourth solution, this isn't necessarily a credit card or a debit card solution. It is an e-check solution. So as long as you have a domestic banking account, um, you can get approved to accept payments via e-check, which obviously you would just probably put on your website if you wanted to, you know, it's kind of like an ACH, the customer puts the routing accounting number and the money gets pulled. So we totally can cover you on that side as well. Um, I have two MRB friendly um, FDIC insured banking solutions. And um, interestingly enough, the rates are like, way low and then way high so you know it's just depends on what the customer wants to do so i would present you with both options it's obviously on a case-by-case -case situation with one of the banking systems that's why i didn't put the pricing here um, because it depends on sales volumes etc but we definitely got your back in fact uh, my stablecoin solution works directly with my banking platform solution that i work the most with and they actually integrated the stablecoin solution to their banking platform software. So now they're using the stablecoin solution as a merchant processing for the cannabis industry and also uh, having their funds settled into their banking accounts. So the stablecoin solution knows our banking solution and they work together. We set up accounts, we get a bank letter, we send it to the underwriters at the stablecoin solution and we get accounts going approved. You can take money, accept money into the bank and to get set up is like two hours. It's really, really super easy. Um, so I'm happy to cover that on the call and even bring on the owners of these um, banking solutions. So you can hear from them because I really think it's important for you to hear from the CEOs of these companies. Um, and I act as an intermediate really for the merchant and I got your back. So I go and I negotiate with them to give you the, the, the best deal and what, what is the fairest uh, deal. So I'm very committed to my merchants, love my clients. I take great care of them. And I just want to do a quick recap because I know we talked about a lot of solutions. <laughs> First solution, stable coin. Second solution, text to pay. Third solution, that's the app, QR code. Fourth solution, e-check for your website. And fifth solution, we've got FDIC insured banking solutions for you. Um, again, as I you know, said in the beginning, you know, don't take my word for, for, for it. You know, go and hear about some of my clients' experiences working with us. Lots of reviews, lots of people, um, raving fans. And you know, it's just my heart to make a difference for people. Um, I can't roll any other way. So uh, to schedule a free consultation with me um, to figure out the best solution or solutions for your company, um, Roger has provided this website for you to book a consultation with me. So with that being said, if you have any questions, I'd love to cover that. I had some questions. Um, okay. So you talked about fees and those, those excess costs. You know, when someone works with you, do you have like an hourly or do you have any uh, fees that come uh, from them to you? Yeah, I appreciate that question. And the answer is no, I don't charge any upfront fees uh, for my service. And that's pretty typical in the payment processing space. Um, you know, with some of them, some of these, obviously there's a monthly fee. So, you know, the answer is really no, I don't charge an hourly um, unless people really need help with their website like making sure the, their website is is good, right? I also have, and I think you, Roger, you you create websites as well, I think, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, so in those particular cases, yeah, we'll charge to to give advice and, you know, critique the sites if needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, while we're waiting for any other comments from the audience, I have a few people that submitted originally. Um, one of them was, will you be going over accepting credit cards for CBD businesses as well? And so yeah. I'm wondering if, do all of those solutions apply to CBD or is there one that was a better choice? Yeah, so it really is on a case by case basis. I have about eight banks that take CBD. Um, it depends on what kind of CBD they're selling. So the stable coin solution is a, like very lenient. I mean, you really can have anything CBD and, and they'll, they'll, they'll take it, they'll process it. Whereas some banks may not take flour or they won't take vapes or, you know, something like that. But 
Um, if you really just want to have, you know, the freedom to sell a, 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 like a huge array of CBD, I would definitely say that solution is a good solution. Now it's going to be a little bit higher in terms of price, but to have all your products you want and to be able to sell them, you know, you really got to kind of do the math and, and think about that. So, but I do have other solutions outside of the stable coin for CBD. Okay. Another question we got was, we're looking for banking assistance for many of my clients in the cannabis, cannabis space. Uh, I think, you know, a little general, but, you know, what are some of the, you know, reasons why somebody will choose one or the other? What are some of the initial questions you might ask for somebody? Yeah, exactly? well, I mean, obviously, like most banks aren't on board with cannabis in particular. CBD is a little bit more lenient, but still very difficult. Um, so there are very like a handful of MRB friendly banks and it's all about relationships, you know? And so these companies, they've got relationships. Uh, one of my FDIC insured banking solutions, they have a, a great relationship with Herring Bank. And, um, and then my other solution also has several banks he works with at the highest levels of the banking um of the banking, uh, whichever bank it is. So, you know, there's people in higher places that can get things done because of their relationships, period, obviously within compliance and, and regulation. So there's, a, there's several solutions we have, not just one in terms of banking. Well, it really sounds like having multiple solutions is a benefit. Absolutely, because if something happens, I mean, listen, there's no guarantees in life, period. So, you know, I say always have a backup, you know, and obviously that's why we, I partner with many different processors, because I think it's important to not put all of your eggs in one basket, especially on the banking side, because, you know, if that for some reason gets shut down, which you just never know what, what could happen, um, you know, you've got a backup so you don't, you know, lose money or what have you. But obviously that's not the idea. <laughs> right. We're not wanting that, but yeah, good to have backups. You know, are there like different solutions for different types of cannabis uses? You know, like would a cultivator look at maybe a different solution than a distributor might? Yeah, that's actually a great question. And I would definitely say yes to that. The stablecoin solution is a 500 highest ticket per customer per day. Um, on the text to pay solution, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the highest ticket on the wholesale side. I would imagine they could take higher tickets, but it's on a case by case basis, obviously looking at the, the business and the strength of the company. Um, but I do believe they can go pretty high on those tickets. So for wholesale, um, you know, the text to pay solution would be probably the best way to go. Um, and then with the QR code solution, I believe since that's more of a dispensary kind of solution, that may not be the way to go either. So I would say the text to pay solution for wholesale um, and distribution and manufacturing, that kind of thing, that would be a good solution for them. You know, I know you're helping me with a, a separate client as well. And, and we were talking about recurring payments online. And it's, it's interesting how different payments people will need to accept. Uh, whether it's in-store or online, e-commerce, whatever. Um, and so I'm wondering, you know, like, I think we, we came, we found one merchant that did work, but that was one of the more complicated requests you may have received. Yeah. So um, I have a merchant processor that will take any like cannabis education related or cannabis consulting, as long as it, they're not selling the actual product. And you'll, the owner will have to sign off on a letter of attestation attesting to that they're not going to be using this merchant account to sell product, that they're only selling education or if it's coaching or if it's a monthly membership, that's totally fine. And that would actually be going through a, a solution that's actually not here on the presentation. So, you know, I've got all sorts of <laughs> tricks and tips and, you know, and I'm just a hustler. So I go to work and make sure my clients get what they need. I really do. I, I don't ever say, no, nope, can't do that. It's like, just give me like 24 hours. I'll figure it out. 
Well, that's all the questions I have. Did you have any final summary statements before we let you get back to fighting the good fight for the clients? Yeah, no, I so appreciate you, Roger, and creating this and putting the email out and, you know, just being great with me and coaching me. And it's just been a really pleasant experience and love Doug from Crack and the whole team. You guys are amazing. And yeah, just book a book a free consultation um, and let's explore getting some payment solutions for your company so you can increase your revenues. Sounds great. And uh, thank you everyone for joining us and we'll see you next month with our next CREC director webinar. Thank you, Livia. Thank you. Bye guys. Once again, go to crec.us forward slash integrity payment processing to set up a free consultation. Thank you. Bye.